Welcome to the ACT Premium Cloud video series. In this video, we will explore groups and how to create them by adding contacts together based upon something that they all have in common. Let's say that we would like to frequently view all of our contacts who are labeled as hot leads in our database. We could certainly perform a lookup each time we need to find and connect with these contacts. Or we could create a group of contacts called hot leads. Here's how to create this group. First, we'll click the Groups button in the left navigation. And next, we want to create a new group. So I'm going to click the New button in the Global Toolbar. Now we need to give our group a name. I'm going to call it Hot Leads. When I click Save, this group is now added to my list on the left. But you may notice that there are no contacts in this group yet. So let's click the Add Remove Contacts button to add some. Now in this new window, we can choose to either add contacts statically or we can choose to add them dynamically. To add contacts statically, all we need to do is search for each contact and then add them manually to the list. These group members will remain a member of this group until we remove them. This way of adding group members can cause a lot of maintenance work because then we would have to add and remove members each time. Instead, we're going to choose the dynamic option. Dynamic groups are automatically updated whenever a predefined set of criteria applies to your contacts. In this example, we want to add any contact to this group when it becomes a hot lead. By using this method, we won't ever need to manually add contacts to this group again. ACT will do it for us. So, in the Dynamic Members area, let's click the Edit Criteria button. This screen should be familiar to us by now. It's the same process as creating an advanced query from the previous video on lookups. So the type is going to be a contact. The field name we want to use it's going to be the ID status field. For the operator, we want to use contains. The reason we use contains here is because a contact can have more than one ID status. If we were to use equal to, like the previous video shows, we wouldn't be able to include any hot leads who have more than one ID status. So the value here is going to be hot lead. Now let's add this to the list, and then we're finished. So we'll click OK. Now we see our rule listed in the dynamic members section of our group contacts. So let's click OK. ACT has now created the group and has dynamically populated it with contacts based upon our criteria. This can be a useful way to keep track of our new hot leads. We could use this list as a working call list. But what happens then when one of these hot leads becomes a customer? Let's find out. Let's say that Everett Mann is no longer a hot lead because we've converted him into a customer. We'll go to the ID status field and we'll change him to a customer and we'll remove the hot lead and the prospect indicators. Now I'll click Save for Everett Man. If I go back to my groups area and I look at hot leads, I'll notice that Everett Man is no longer in the list. This shows us the value of creating a dynamic group. This group's membership is based off of specific field on their contact record, so we don't have to manage it manually. If you want, you could create another dynamic group called Customers, and this group would then contain all the contacts whose ID status included the word Customer. When a contact switches from being a hot lead to a customer, their group membership will automatically change as well. So your groups will always be updated with the latest information. Dynamic groups can be set up to reflect almost any contact field in ACT. For example, you could create a dynamic group for prospects that you haven't contacted within the last 30 days. This group would automatically add new members on a daily basis, helping you keep track of those prospective customers before it's too late. Let's take a moment now and look at some of the tabs for groups. The Activities tab shows all the activities for every contact who is a member of this group. This can be a convenient way of viewing several contacts' activities in one place, rather than having to look up each contact individually. This might be especially helpful for your new Hot Leads group. The Opportunities tab shows us all the opportunities for each contact who is a member of this group. This will help you get an overall view of where you are in the sales cycle for all the members of this group. The same thing can be said for the History and the Notes tabs you'll be able to see all of these records for all group members in one view. The Documents tab, however, does not roll up all the documents for each individual contact into the group. Instead, it allows you to have separate documents that apply to the group as a whole, not those for individual contacts. 
The Group Address tab is useful if this group is a club or charitable organization that has its own mailing address. The Group Access tab is similar to the Contact Access tab. Here you can change the record manager for this group, and you can also see the history and change the access level of this group to other members of your ACT system. Use the Subgroups tab if you want to create a subordinate group within this one. For your Hot Leads group, for example, maybe you would like to split them up by geographic regions. That way you could assign different regional sales reps to be responsible for each of their Hot Leads subgroups. The Lead Capture tab is a feature that allows you to get leads from your website into ACT as a group, which you can then reach by using ACT eMarketing. We'll discuss this feature in a future video based on ACT eMarketing. This concludes this video on getting started with groups. In the next video, we'll look at companies and the differences between groups and companies in ACT.